Minovax. Developing a vaccine to protect against adverse pregnancy outcomes and serious infections in babies caused by Group B Streptococcus. For most women, getting pregnant is one of the greatest experiences of their lives. But with that also comes the concern about how pregnancy and childbirth will proceed. These are completely justified concerns, as pregnancy in the first months are some of the most critical times in the baby's life. Some of these problems can stem from infections with Group B streptococcal bacteria, often abbreviated to GBS. For many, GBS are part of their normal bacterial flora, and it occurs in both women and men. Up to 20% of individuals carry these bacteria without necessarily having any problems. The bacteria are found in the gastrointestinal tract and, as a consequence, often also in the reproductive tract. It's the bacteria in the vagina that may pose problems in pregnant women. Even though the mother generally has no problems as a consequence of carrying GBS, the bacteria can spread from the vagina up into the uterus and amniotic fluid during pregnancy, where it may cause premature delivery or infect the fetus leading to birth of an infected baby. Or the baby may become infected with GBS during childbirth from bacteria in the vagina. The baby can also come in contact with the bacteria from the mother or a hospital environment after birth. And babies are especially prone to GBS infections for the first three months of life where their immune system is immature. GBS infections in newborn babies can result in sepsis, pneumonia or meningitis. GBS infections are responsible for approximately 50% of life-threatening infections and approximately 80% of meningitis cases in babies in the first three months of life. These infections may result in infant death and meningitis and sepsis can cause lifelong neurological impairment of the child. Pregnant women may be screened for the presence of GBS, either routinely or based on risk factors. And if positive, they'll be given prophylactic antibiotics treatment during labour. Up to 30% of women in developed countries receive antibiotics during childbirth. However, such antibiotic treatment has no effect on adverse pregnancy outcomes such as stillbirth and preterm delivery. Nor does it have any effect on GBS infections that occur in babies from several days after birth. In addition, it can have some negative side effects, for example the development of antibiotic-resistant GBS and possible impairment of or colonisation of the baby's intestines by beneficial bacteria required for a healthy life. Prophylactic antibiotics are therefore not an optimal solution. Globally, approximately 1 in 500 to 2,000 babies are still affected by severe GBS infections. The World Health Organization has recently estimated that each year, Group B streptococci are the global cause of 392,000 cases of life-threatening GBS infections, 91,000 deaths among newborn babies, 46,000 stillbirths and 518,000 premature births. One solution is to develop a protective GBS vaccine consisting of small components of the GBS bacteria that, given to pregnant women, will generate antibodies capable of preventing infections with GBS. This will, of course, protect the mother, but also the unborn child, since the antibodies are passed to the fetus via the placenta. And they'll persist and protect the baby against GBS for up to three months after birth. Therefore, a maternal GBS vaccine could protect against stillbirths and preterm delivery, as well as protecting the baby against life threatening infections by GBS. It's already known that women who've developed high levels of antibodies to GBS naturally from exposure to the bacteria are giving birth to children who are naturally protected against GBS infection. Therefore, protective GBS antibodies are not foreign to the pregnant woman or the baby and the purpose of giving a GBS vaccine is to boost the level of GBS antibodies so that such protective levels can be achieved in all pregnant women.
GBS vaccines only contain surface components of the bacterium capable of inducing protective antibodies already found in naturally protected women. Due to different strains of GBS, the vaccines being developed contain more than one version of the surface components of the bacterium to cover as many different strains as possible. In summary, a protective GBS vaccine for pregnant women will be able to help protect both against stillbirth and preterm delivery caused by GBS and life-threatening GBS infections in newborn babies in the first months of life. In addition, an effective vaccine will be able to reduce the use of prophylactic antibiotics and thus avoid the negative side effects, for instance, the development of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Therefore, an effective vaccine against GBS has the potential to have several advantages over current prophylactic strategies. Look at website www.minovax.com for further reference.